Isabel and Lisa should see their days. Do it, because I am no longer afraid of Isabel and Lisa. I am, unfortunately, your son. I am so tired of you three. My real family would be, if they give me love, help me with all problems and accept, and support me in everything. But you three didn't do one of those things in my whole life, and from now on, I don't give a fuck to all of you, and I don't show emotions anymore. Sajri? You haven't have cancer all the time? No, I didn't know that. I thought I really have cancer, that's all. Have you already considered telling me about it sometime in the shortest time, or not? Yes, I wanted to tell that to you, when you come to school, but you are already here. Wow, thanks. Now you heard it, what do you still want? Go out now from the class you ugly thing, thanks. And you Lisa, you listen to me now. Shut the fuck up, and come with me to the headmaster. No bitch, why should I come with you? You can't bring me to the headmaster without a reason, you dumbass. You know about that one plan. You know that Isabel paid Samir to embarrass me with that one video in front of the class. Bitch, what are you talking about? Did you forget your brain at home? Oh, right, you don't have a brain. If you don't come with me, then I will go alone to the headmaster and tell about Isabel's plan. And I will guarantee you, you will get in trouble too. How the fuck can you kiss me without my permission? Brian, since I saw you first, I became in love with you. How could you think like that? We both are classmates, and classmates will stay friends, and not in a relationship, do you understand me? But Brian, we could try it. You look cute and handsome, don't you want a girlfriend? Don't you want a relationship with a girl? Melissa, stop. I already have feelings to someone. But I'm not to 100% sure, now leave me alone, and don't kiss me again. I know, that you mentioned that little tacker bitch. You will become no feelings to that bitch again soon, I guarantee that to you. I will beat that daughter of a bitch up someday. You will see it. Mom, did you hear, what I said? No, I just heard you saying something about, that was really fresh, I liked it. Nothing else? Nicholas, what do you mean? What was really fresh, that you liked it? Because you gave me sweet things, it tasted really fresh. I didn't eat sweet things long ago, that's why I said that. Oh, okay, I wish you all the best Nicholas, I will go to the kitchen, and cook your favorite foods. Okay. Where are you going, Muslim? I am going to the headmaster, and tell that all to him. Isabel and Lisa should see their days. Okay, tell that to him, but will you mention me? I don't know, should I? You know what, do it, because I am no longer afraid of Isabel and Lisa. Okay, I will do it, wait here. What do you want, Lisa? Leave me alone now. Bitch, I have to tell you something. She really hung up. I hope you will get better soon, Dad. Mr. Headmaster, you know that Samir embarrassed me in front of the class with the news about my family, right? Yes. Well, he didn't do it for no reason. Isabel paid him to do that. What are you talking about? Lisa knew that too. They made together a plan. How do you know that? Did you heard it, or saw something? Selena told me, that she saw Isabel talking with Samir in the school corridor about me and that plan. And Lisa told Selena, not to tell the plan to me, or to Isabel's father. Okay Muslim, I will call Selena here first, I will listen to her, what she will tell, and then I will call Isabel and Lisa here. Thank you Mr. Headmaster. Please calm down, I know it's hurting you, but don't worry, I will do this for you. Nicholas acts currently a little bit weird, he talks with himself, and when I come in, he feels afraid, 
Then he asks me, what he just said. Really? I didn't know that. Oh, you know where I found him? Where? I found him in Maslin's room. His room looks trashed a little bit. Wait, his room is trashed too? But isn't that ugly thing a clean person? Yes, and yes. He is a clean person. Every time before he leaves this house, his room is clean. But when I saw Nicholas in Maslam's room, then it's trashed. What are you trying to say? Do you say that Nicholas trashed our living room too? Well, our front door has no damage. But if there were burglars, then they would have some damage. But didn't that ugly Maslam trash our living room just because you forced him to stay here and he was angry? Yes, he did it. But he always says that he did nothing to our living room. He is minding his own business all the time. Don't you know him? That makes me so suspicious right now. I don't know who really did this. All I know is that Nicholas wouldn't do this to us. Yes, you're right. We have to find a way who did this. And we have to find a way to pay the rent. I told it to the headmaster, and he wants to talk with you. Why me? He wants to listen to you, what you saw and told me. That's all. Okay, I will talk with him. Bro, what do you buy at the grocery store? I just want to buy two cans of energy drink. Because the school no longer allows us to drink energy drink there. Yeah, right. Do you want something from the grocery store too? Yes, I want one energy drink too, but I forgot my wallet at home. But can you buy me one pack of cigarettes too? Okay you dummy, of course you will get one. Yes! Thank you! No problem bro. Bro, Maslam found out that I didn't have cancer all the time. How did he find out? I think he listened to me and Lisa behind the door in the classroom. We both were talking about that cancer, and she was happy to hear it, but Maslam heard it too, what should we do? Well, there is nothing to do, he found it out, so we have to accept that. And how did he react? He was a little bit angry, and asked me, if I already considered telling that to him in the shortest time soon. And what did you say? Bitch, where you had been all the time. I called you, but you hung up. I'm not doing well because of my father. Bitch, I have to tell you something important that Selena bitch told that ugly Muslim about your plan. What happened then? He left to the headmaster to tell that to him. Why didn't you stop him? Bitch, if I had stopped him, he would know that this Selena was telling the truth. I said it wasn't true, but he went anyway. We have to find a way to lie perfectly. I think the headmaster won't believe that ugly thing, because we both are girls, and he hates us, Attention, right? Attention please, Isabel and Lisa, you both immediately enter in my room. Don't try to run away, I can see you both. How could you both do that? What did I do wrong? You threatened Selena not to tell the plan to Muslim or to Mr. Gordon, and you put too much makeup on her face just because she will get afraid of you. But I wanted to make her a little bit prettier, that's all. And no, I didn't threaten her. Shut up Lisa, I know you both so good, you two are always the ones who gets in trouble from me. And you Isabel, that was intense what you did to Muslim. But I did nothing wrong. I'm just a girl, who wants to study for the school and have a little bit fun with my friends Dave. Be quiet now, and don't call me Dave, I am your headmaster, you should show me respect. And why don't you believe us? We both did nothing wrong, I promised my father, not to bully Maslam and Selena. Did you forget, that there are security cameras everywhere in this school? So? One of the cameras record the conversation with you and Samir, and we can hear clearly what you both were talking about. Lisa, you will get suspended from the school for two weeks. But I did nothing wrong, like I said that. Don't worry, we also have a witness who recorded your conversations. Now go out. You are suspended from the school for two weeks. 
Hello, I want to order the french fries menu, thanks. What are you doing here Melissa? Go away, I don't want to fight with you. Do I know you? I am a customer, and I want to order one french fries menu. Listen to me, if you are trying to do some evil plan, leave now, I don't want to get thrown out from here. Taka, what is wrong here? Why don't you order my customer's order? Jeffrey, that isn't your customer, I know her, she hates me, she might plan something bad, I know her so good. Do you realize, how your behavior was right now? Apologize to my customer, and write her order, now. Or you will get kicked out from here. Okay fine. I am so sorry for my behavior, let me write your order. Thanks, I want a french fry menu with a large coca cola please. Alright. Do you want something else? That's all, thanks. Good, now do your work, and I don't want to see that again. I am so sorry Jeffrey, I will do it. You listen to me you ugly shit, I got suspended from the school for two weeks, are you happy now? Yes, I am happy, and I am not afraid of you and Isabel. You both don't scare me anymore. Look at that little bitch, since when do you have such a courage to stand in front of me? Normally you would be scared so hard, that you would shit in your own pants, and cry in front of Jennifer's old house. Shut the fuck up, it's over now. Jennifer isn't in my heart anymore, because I made a decision. Yeah, right. Now forget her, and listen to me. You will see me after two weeks again, I will guarantee that to you. Like I said, you don't scare me anymore. I changed myself from now on. I will be a strong girl. Piss off bitch. I can't believe that she really did it. But are you alright now? Yeah, I am alright. But my question is, how do you feel? Yeah, it can't get better. I still try to be good, but everything is too much for me. Well, I know how it feels like, I had your situations a few years ago too. Really? Do you still think of your ex-best friend? Well, not so often, sometimes those toxic memories comes up to my mind again, but I am glad, that it doesn't interest me anymore. I see, I am so sorry for you too Brian. Thanks but, I am no longer interested in him. Ms. Lum, do you want to go out with me, or do you want to rest today? Yes, but we both could maybe go out tomorrow. I don't want to go to the school tomorrow. Okay Ms. Lum. Hey ugly, stand up now. What do you want Isabel? I said, stand up. How the fuck could you tell that all to the headmaster you asshole? Shut the fuck up, I did it right. I hope you got detention from the headmaster. Bitch, Lisa and I got suspended from the school for two weeks. Are you happy now? Of course I am happy now. I hope you will stop bullying me and Selena from now on. Hey, stop, what do you think you are doing? Piss off bitch. Do you realize, that you are out of control? Now go away from here, and don't disturb Ms. Lum and Selena anymore. Shut up and sit down bitch. You listen to me bitch, I will not give up to bully you. You will do it, what you did. And don't ever tell something my father, leave him alone. Fuck off from here, you have to go now, you are suspended from the school. I will go now, but you will see me in two weeks later again. Piss off bitch. Fuck off blondie. I can't believe, that she slapped him in the face. That bitch should deserve it two times back. Yeah, I will talk with that Ikram, he should do something, that she should control herself. I think she has mental problems. I don't care, if she has mental problems, she has no rights to slap him in his face, or bully us. Yeah, you are right Selena. That is not okay. <sighs> are you alright? Yes. I'm a little bit tired of everything. 
Yeah, life isn't sometimes great, I know that. Brian, thanks for being on Maslin's side. You also look like a real helpful person, and that is great. Thanks Selena, you too. Do you want to have contact with me too? You mean, you want to know more about me, right? Yes of course. Okay, let's sit on this bench, and introduce us each other. Oh my, I hope I can ask him, if he has a girlfriend, or not, because I want to know him so good. He looks really cute and handsome. Why are you here right now? You normally come at evening here. I want to rest for the day, because I am tired of everything. And tell me, why is my room trashed? I don't know, no one was in your room today. If no one were in my room, then why is my room trashed? When I came in? I know that you and Nicholas were in my room. You searched for money, and Nicholas searched for sweet things. Did you find a job? No. So, do you know how we can pay the rent? No, I don't know. Could you not ask someone for money or something? Why should I? You should, because you trashed our living room. And now we start again. It wasn't me. I don't care of your house. I am minding my own business. And finally, I am trying to ignore all of you and my problems. Who are you, who tells me those things? I am, unfortunately, your son. Okay, I was just joking. Well, and what I just said was no joke. I am so tired of you three. You aren't like my family, I feel like being hated here, which is true. My real family would be, if they give me love, help me with all problems and accept, and support me in everything. But you three didn't do one of those things in my whole life. So, you are not my real family, you are in my eyes strangers. Could you just calm down? Chill now. No! I am just tired of giving a fuck to everything, what you guys doing to me. And from now on, I don't give a fuck to all of you, and I don't show emotions anymore. You can't talk with me like that. Sure I can. Now I will go to my room, just because I don't want to see all of you guys anymore. I just don't understand, why everyone wants to make my life so difficult. Everybody kills me, as they want, and I'm not even happy for a day. I guess I'll never be happy again, even Sadri doesn't care, how shitty my life is. I still remember, how we met, when he was at least interested in me. Those were somehow nice times with him. How do you feel now? Well. I thought I would be friends with those two girls, but they said mean things. I guess. But I am alright, and you? What is your name? My name is Sadri, and your name is Maslam, right? Yes. Maslam, don't listen to those two girls. They are so rich, they just act cool because they think they are something. Everyone says that they are the coolest students in this school. Okay, so, no matter how often mean words they say to you, just don't listen and ignore them, because it is not worth it. But they said, I should pluck my eyebrows, because it is too big, and I think it's true. I might look ugly, but that's okay, I hear this from everyone. Maslam, please listen to me. The beauty comes from inside, and not from the outside. Your beauty is your character, because in my eyes you look like a really nice person to me. I think you are a nice person too, even if I don't know you. So, don't change yourself, just because someone tells you to style your hair, or pluck your eyebrows, or buy new, cooler clothes. Stay the way you are, and that's a good thing. Believe me. Oh my god, thank you dear Sadri, that is really nice of you. No problem Maslam. If you have any problems in this school, or don't know where what is, then come to me, I'll try to help you. Thank you so much, you also are a nice person. Do you want to know me a little bit more? Yes, of course, I came from Afghanistan, and you? Oh, that's nice, I was born here, and I live with my parents. It's time to get Tekalos now, 
I already said that to you. I will be your nightmare, you little bitch. Hey, Kristoff, it's me, Melissa. I will give you an address, and you will kidnap Taka, all right? Yes, she will have in 10 minutes a break, and you have to kidnap her, and you will bring her to the basement. All right, see you then. So you little bitch, I want you to stay far away from Brian. And because of you, Brian is to 100% in love with you, I know that. Tonight, will be your last breath you little bitch. Brian, you have the same hobbies like me, isn't that awesome? Yes, tell me, that we both are like twins. Yes, we are. Do you, Do you have, have a, a boyfriend? Wow, that was fast, I'm so sorry for interrupt you. No problem Brian. And no, I don't have a boyfriend, I'm single. Oh, okay. I don't have a girlfriend either. Oh, okay. Phew, luckily she doesn't have a boyfriend, that is good. Now I can breathe properly again, and try to be her boyfriend. Oh my gosh, he is single, I'm so glad. He doesn't have a girlfriend. Now I can find a way to make out with him. Hello, I have now my break, but my coworker can help you. Hello, you look really beautiful. Thank you so much. I have a surprise for you. It's in my car. It's really huge. So you wanna see it? But why? I don't know you. Why did you do that? That's so sweet of you. I want to know if you would like my gift for you. So, please come with me to my car. Okay. Let's go then. Thank you.